Hey everyone, today we are going to see how we can connect MySQL database with Visual Studio Code and we are going to perform some queries in Visual Studio Code as well. So let's see how we can do this awesome stuff. So first of all, open your favorite uh, browser if you want because uh, we want to download one extension. But here I am just going to open the Visual Studio Code. Okay. So this is my Visual Studio code. I'm just going to click on the extensions and I'm searching for extension of SQL tool. So you just search for SQL and you can see SQL tool extension is available and you can see it's almost 2 million people downloaded two or 3 million people downloaded the SQL tools extension. Okay, so just hit and it's also a good rated uh, four star rating is available. You can see uh, the connectors for MariaDB, SQL Server, MySQL, TDB, PostgreSQL, all popular databases, the uh, extensions are available. Okay. And you can see as I install the SQL extension, you can see uh, on the side panel sidebar, there is a one database icon and you can see from this, we are able to access and connect to our different databases. So for this, let's add a new connection and here you can see could not find any install drivers, right? So for it, we have to install the specific drivers of the databases. So in our case, uh, we are going to install MySQL database. So that's why let's download this SQL tool, MySQL, uh, MariaDB and TDB driver. So I'm just going to hit on the install button and you will see the driver is getting installed. After that, I'm going to click on the database and click connect. So you can see the driver for MariaDB, MySQL and uh, TDB is available. So we are going to connect with MySQL. So just I'm going to hit on the connect. And as you know, the driver here is the driver and we have installed the MySQL database already. So if you want to see how we can install MySQL database in Windows, so you can check my video. So I will give the link in the description. So let's uh, provide some important things such as a server address. So right now it's a local host. So I'm providing local host and the port number is 3306. That is by default port of MySQL database. After that, we can provide username. So currently I am going to log in in this database as a root, but you can provide username if you have already the users set up for the databases. Okay, then you can see uh, password modes are available. So uh, it's just the different kinds of uh, connections or uh, like authentication methods available. So I am just going with uh, the default one and you can see authentication password. Okay. So it's the default method available for MySQL connector. So I'm going with it. And you can see SSL is uh, disabled. Uh, keep it as it is. If you want to change, then you can. But uh, I suggest you keep it as it is. And other parameters also we don't need to specify. The one important parameter we need to provide here is uh, we need to provide the database name. Uh, it will create a connection for the specific databases. Okay, so if I hit on the save uh, connection, so you can see it will throw error uh, required uh, field. So I am just going to provide the database name and the database name is world in my case. So okay, you can see the connection is set up successfully. Right. And uh, the metadata related to that MySQL connection you can see here and in the right pane you can see the connection as well. So hit on the connect and uh, allow this uh, Visual Studio code to connect the MySQL database with the help of the uh, SQL tool driver and it will ask you for passwords. So I'm just going to provide my password. Also you can connect uh, the your uh, database through this connection pin right click and click on the connect so I am going to provide my password so you can see I have provided the password yeah okay and you can see database is connected and uh, here the database SQL query script is here as well as you can see 
the databases are available so you can see world database is available there so this is the interface of your uh, database connection so here you can see uh, queries connections and uh, all your uh, database structure is available here so you can see i have cities database country uh, cities table country table and uh, country languages table so i'm just right click on uh, city table and uh, you can see here options such as show as table so i'm just going to hit on it and it will fire a insert query and it will show all the cities available in the cities table okay okay let's create a simple query select count you can see it shows the auto suggestion star select count star from and table name is cities okay and uh, just select this line and hit on the run so you can see total number of cities are uh, 9000 uh, 4979 cities are available so in this way we can set up the mysql database connection thanks for watching this video and if you like this video content then don't forget to uh, subscribe like and comment we will meet you in the next video till then happy coding